In this video, we would be solving this part which says draw a few smooth unkinky indifference curve for Joe in such a way that the following are true. First, that his favorite temperature for his apartment will be 65 degrees if it costs him nothing to heat it or cool it. Joe chooses to use the furnace in December, air conditioning in August and neither in September. Joe is better off in December than in August. So this was the graph we drew in the previous part where you're, on the x-axis you have temperature, y-axis you have food. Black budget line corresponds to the scenario of September where the temperature outside is 60 degrees. The blue one corresponds to December and red one corresponds to August. Temperature outside is 85 degrees. Now it is given in the question that his favorite temperature is 65 degrees. So that means if the temperature outside is 65 degrees, he would be spending nothing to cool it or heat it, leaving him with the entire budget of $100 to spend on food. So giving you the point as 65, 100, which is this point. Now it is also given that his favorite temperature is 65 degrees. That means if the temperature, so this is your point 65 degrees. That means if the temperature is lower than 65 degrees, he would try to heat the room and reach the temperature of 65 degrees giving you this preference direction if the temperature is higher than 65 degrees then he would try to reduce the temperature by using an air conditioner and reach the temperature of 65 degrees again giving you this preference direction to the right of 65 degrees also he always prefer to have more food so your preference direction is now this and this. That may, as the temperature deviates from 65 degrees, his satisfaction level decreases. So your indifference curve would be centered around 65 degrees. It means with these preference direction, you would be easily able to get your ICs like this, where this is your 65 degrees. But is this IC really correct? That means will the IC be symmetrical around 65 degrees? Is the behavior around to the left of 65 degrees same as the right of 65 degrees by behavior i mean the mrs the trade-off he has to do between the temperature and the food so let's see if the trade-off or your mrs is same around both or not or whether your indifference curve would be symmetrical or identical around 65 degrees now to the left of 65 degrees he has to heat the room and to the right, he has to cool it. In order to heat, means he has to increase the room temperature. And to increase the room temperature by 1 degree, the cost is $2. In order to cool, that means he has to reduce the temperature. The cost is $3 as given in the question. That means the cost of cooling is higher than the cost of heating. If this is the case, then while cooling the room, he would have less food with him. Or in other terms, he has to give up for cooling as compared to a scenario when he is heating. That means the MRS for cool the temp room temperature is more than the MRS heating the room temperature. What would be the implication of this entire equation? That means the MRS to the right of 65 degrees would be steeper as compared to the indifference curve. To the left of 65 degrees giving you indifference curve like this now note here that after 65 degrees that when he's trying to cool it being the being these as his preference direction the indifference curve is steeper compared to this portion when this is your preference direction that is when he is trying to heat the room so here be very careful that the indifference curve is not identical around 65 degrees but it has a different MRS to the left and the right of 65 degrees. Joe is better off in December than in August. That means his utility would be more in December than in August. If that is the scenario, that means the IC of December or the indifference curve of December would be higher compared to August. If I draw the indifference curve for both of these months, that is August and December, I would get this graph. So here, 
on the x-axis again we have temperature on the y-axis we have food and uh, this is your blue budget line this is your black budget line and this is your red budget line this is your point 65 comma 100 and clearly again your indifference curve is steeper along this side as compared to this since the MRS is more to the right of 65 degrees when you're trying to cool your room if I draw some parallel indifference curves these would be your indifference curves your next part says in what month is the slope of Joe's budget constraint equal to the slope of his indifference curve now when we want to see whether when the slopes are equal that means when the two curves are tangent to each other that means we have to find a point where they are touching each other now one is this point and another is this point so this is the point in December since this blue budget line corresponds to a scenario when it's December so first month we have is December another is this and this inverted V is the budget constraint for the month August and this here your indifference curve is tangent to the August at this point so that means this is the point where the slope of indifference curve is equal to the slope of budget constraint and this is happening in the month of August answer here is December and August also note here that this indifference curve is of December and this is of August that means and clearly the indifference curve in December is higher than in August which we observed here now moving on to the next part it says in December Joe's marginal rate of substitution between food and degrees of Fahrenheit is dash and in August his MRS is dash in the previous part we learned that at the point of tangency your MRS is the slope of indifference curve is equal to the slope of budget line that means at the point of tangency we are able to calculate the slope of budget line which is a lot easier than this MRS then we would be able to have our MRS as well December which is this this is the point of tangency and the slope of this budget line here is minus 2 why it's minus 2 the calculation is again simple now how am I getting so your MRS is as food and temperature now note that how am I getting this minus 2 now at this point he is if he he is clearly increasing his temperature that means he is heating so that means he would be increasing his temperature by one degree and in order to increase his temperature by one degree he has to give up a food by two dollars and why is that a two dollars because in order to increase the temperature by one degree which cost him two dollars so that means he has to give up a food worth of two dollars that means his MRS would be minus two now in, in August he is clearly reducing his temperature that means he is cooling or using the air conditioner so that means if he is reducing the temperature that would be minus one and in order to reduce the temperature by one degree it cost him three dollars so that means he has to give up a food worth of three dollars so this becomes you have three so MRS in month of December sorry in month of August is three where here it is minus two which are nothing but the slopes of this line and this line next Part says since Joe neither heats or cools his apartment in September we cannot determine his marginal rate of substitution exactly but we know that it must be no smaller than this and larger than this dash hint look at your graph carefully in September he is here and since it's a kink you cannot determine MR we know that it must be between the slope of this and the slope of this line the slope of this line is minus 2 and the slope of other line is 3 so your answer becomes minus 2 and 3 so that was all for this video